Welcome to another episode of How It Works with Holger. In this episode, I'm going to talk about duration. And you might think like he talked about dates and he announced time. Why is he going to do duration now? Well, it's it's an in the middle kind of thing. If you want to work with time and date, at some point you want to determine the duration between two dates with a time, for example. And Delphi has a type for that. Honestly, I haven't worked with the type as closely either. And now that I do this episodes, I kind of looked at how detailed Delphi's implementation of duration is. It's, I would say, I, I know like C Sharp and Swift, I would say it's just as good. So again, the starting point is our form with the button where we can just like dabble around. And if you look at date utils, you will not find what I'm talking about today. There's actually a separate unit system time span. And this unit contains <clears throat> one type, as far as I can see, in particular, only this one type. And it is called T time span. And oh boy, is it useful. Because you can use it to express duration, but you can initialize it with a different unit that you want output for. So what I mean by that is, let's say, um, declare a variable, L duration, and it's of type T time span. And you can say T time span dot, you could say create, okay, then it would be ticks. You see, you have 10,000 ticks per millisecond, if you want really, really um, small durations. And what you can also do, you can specify days, hours, minutes, seconds, and so on. But yet again, looking at the type, it's a record. It is not a class. So whenever I slip up in this very video and I say class, T time span is definitely not a class. So there is no object. It is a record. So L duration is a value type. It's not a reference type. So that means that you can also use other methods right now on the type, for example, from days, from hours. So you can do from days and say two days. And this creates a duration of two days. And now you might say, what use is this? Well, let's say log L duration dot total hours dot to string because integer one word can be converted using to string. And this should yield 2 times 24. So you can do all sorts of implicit calculations with this because two days is 48 hours. Of course, you cannot only do things that are obvious. You can also subtract another time span. So you can subtract one time span from another. And you also have a helper method, subtract one t-date time and another t-date time, and you get back the time span. So here it is for the first time that you can calculate between two dates and you get back a time span. So let's do that. Let's take the release date of Delphi, T date time, and let's take today's date, L today is a T date time. And we're going to use the um, class helpers or record helpers that I discussed in one of the previous episodes and say L release, we can't really use it for this, is t date time dot, do we have a create or something like that? No, we, we don't have a create, we don't have an encode. So in order to get a new date or create a new date, we still have to use encode and date. And then we have to specify the year, which was 1995, the month was 2 for February, the day was the 14th. And today, here we can use the record helper, tdatetime.today. In order to find out how much time, what the duration is between those two dates, you can do t time span dot subtract. And then you can do the first date, l today. 
comma l release and you get back a t time span so you define the duration so the duration l duration is that what we find out and now with the helper methods that we have you can get the total hours since the alpha was released the total seconds the total minutes milliseconds let's do the total days so and let's log that and of course to string and then we also add days since the alpha that's been released perfect when we run this time calculations 9870 days that's it so what happens if we switch these um, i always like tinkering around like that on um, today hopefully it doesn't change anything but you never know see it does now we have a negative value okay because it calculates from uh from l release not until today but from today until release which is a negative number because it has been 9870 days ago so actually this subtract method is not using an absolute value this is actually using a positive or negative value sadly and you see that if you do code completion there is no indication there's only d1 and d2 very very badly named parameters so you don't know how it works so so at this point our only shot really is the documentation we have to look it up in the help or inside of the doc wiki how d1 and d2 are defined so that's it for t time span a really really great data type if you want to have like if you want to work with durations there is more to it of course we have more and more you can also get the days hours minutes that were set initially so be careful with that i'm going to give you a quick example for that because let's say we set it previously we said l duration as t time span dot from days to that was our example and then we set total days to string that was our output and we got the correct number which is two and we also were able to do total hours which was 48 but if you use there's also an hours property or method and guess what zero yes because that reflects the initial assignment so if you were to say days instead of total days you should get the two there you go so that is the difference between the properties i think yes the properties that start with total and the ones that have no total for in front of them just be aware of them to use the total properties if you want the whole duration calculated no matter how the uh, day property hour property and so on has been set just be aware that the only way to assign to duration is using this from method you can't assign to the properties all the properties are defined as read only also very important to note one final word in addition to the methods and properties you also find something like class operator and that is very very important that means you can use normal operators like plus minus equal greater than less than with t time span values for comparison addition and so on you can see that here you can add two time span values and you get a new t time span or you can add a time span to a date time and get a date time this is all very very flexible look at it in detail you'll be surprised how much you can achieve without using any third-party libraries this is all included inside of the delphi rtl